directions now we come to planes so directions were where you see that direction vectors now we are talking about plane so we do want to do the same thing for planes also we want to now give a name to these planes why we want to do that almost for the same reason because otherwise we what we will be saying we will be saying that this is a, the top plane this is the forward plane this is the side right side plane this is the left side plane which is not correct way of doing it so that is why we need to provide a standard notation by which planes can also be assigned a name the reasoning is same we will see it today that we similar to like we have crystallographically equivalent directions we have equivalent planes also but let us first look at the method by which miller indices are assigned so the first thing that you do here <coughs> if i have this plane the one which is shown here with this uh, red section plane it is a <coughs> shown as an inclined plane here so what is the basic procedure the basic pr procedure happens to be you have to again choose the axis the origin and the origin has to one thing is there the origin has to pass through the lattice point that is very clear you cannot choose the origin anywhere in between the unit cell so the origin has to be chosen anywhere passing through the lattice points means in this cubic system it is only on the corners the basic difference between this assigning of plane miller indices and uh, regarding that for your uh, directions is that in the direction we insisted that the origin must be located on the direction here it is opposite the origin must not be located on the plane if it is located on the plane we shift the origin we will see that later but the first thing is we choose a coordinate system <coughs> parallel to the unit cell edges we did that we choose an origin which is not lying on the plane so in this particular case the inclined plane is available to us here and i have chosen an origin here at this blue point which is the farthest corner of this uh, of of the of this unit cell so we say the origin is located here <coughs> it is not located on the plane so the origin must not lie on the plane this is the basic difference here then what next the coordinate system is chosen x y z same right hand rule so this is plus x this is plus y this is plus z then you have done minus x minus x minus z directions also the origin must not lie on the plane then the next thing is we then find the intercepts of the plane along the axis that is where does this plane intersect the three <coughs> x y and z axis in terms of again a b and c a b c are lattice constants and in the cubic system a equal to b equal to c so we then say that we will now find the intercept so can you can somebody tell me that what is the intercept here let us see arshia segal arshia segal yes sir okay are you following us yes sir okay so we said that you you see the plane here the inclined plane is shown here with a, the, the red uh, section plane the origin is chosen here at the farthest point of the <coughs> farthest corner of this uh, cubical unit cell <coughs> i have chosen the first two steps are done the third step is i have to find the intercepts again in terms of plus and minus direction so can you help me in that this plane intersect x at what sir uh, zero, uh, a 0 a 0 a 0 no. please look at it again the inclined plane is here intersecting the x axis at this point can you see that at this point if this point yes. is a the in, where is the origin the origin must not pass through the plane the origin is located here on the other end and what is the a yes. intercept what is the a intercept this sir this is 1 plus 1 one. 1 one. plus 1 yes. because this is plus x plus 1 so a happens to be this intercept happens to be plus 1 what about y intercept this one the origin is here 
plus one, sir. Plus one, right? You right? Z intercept. The origin is here. The Z intercept. So plus, plus one. Okay. So plus we have done the next step. We found the intercepts <coughs> along the axis in terms of the lattice constants A, B, and C. As I said, in a cubic system, they are all equal. So you can simply write it as A then. A is equal to B is equal to C. Okay. This is the third step. The intercepts are found, but these are not the indices. The next step. So we found the intercepts here as 1, 1, 1, or I shall write clearly as plus 1, plus 1, and plus 1. Okay. Then you have to take the reciprocals of the intercept. So it, in this case, it will not matter because it will be 1 upon 1, 1 upon 1, 1 upon 1. In other cases, it will matter because you may, you may get fractions. So am I right? The reciprocals are again 1, 1, 1? Yes, sir. So the reciprocals are again found here as 1, 1, 1. So I found that this is the reciprocal of the intercepts of the plane on the three directions x, v, and x, y, and z. They are all plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. <coughs> and then we say we convert them to again the smallest integers. They are already integers here, so we don't do anything. But if there are fractions, we will convert them. So this step converting them to smallest integer is common to what you did in the case of Miller indices for the directions also. But here we say then the indices will be 1, 1, 1. So this plane will be then named as with round brackets 1, 1, 1 plane. Do you get that? Yes, sir. This is 1, 1, 1 plane. So the steps are, can you repeat it for me? What are the steps? They are written already. Sir, first we have to choose the uh, coordinate system coordinate parallel. System. Yes, parallel. parallel to the unit cell and then yeah, one thing the which is not cell. written here, uh, just listen to me. One thing which is missing here is that the, the, the origin must pass through the lattice points. Now somebody can say that I will choose the origin here. No, it is not possible because it is not a lattice point here. Is that right? So yes, you have sir. to choose the origin here, here so that it is passing through the lattice points parallel to the unit edge. Then Second condition, origin must not lie on the plane. Yes, sir. ये इस इस problem में तो पहले ही lie नहीं कर रहा था, तो इसलिए हमने कहा कि ठीक है, but <coughs> there are problems which I will see later on that where it is lying on the where the origin is passing through the plane. In that case, we have to shift the origin. Okay, we'll come to that later. Yes. Sir. Next, find the intercepts. ठीक है? हो गया one one one, plus one plus one and plus one. Then next step. Uh, we have to take reciprocal. Reciprocal. That's important First, here. That is the difference. Indices. That is the difference. Usme aapne reciprocal nahi kiya tha na? In directional yes. indices, we didn't do that. Here we have to take the reciprocal. Then? Then we have to convert them to the smallest integers. Integers. And then whatever the answer is here, this one, this is basically the Miller indices of the of the plane here, which is given with round brackets. This is given here as 1, 1, 1. So this plane, I don't need to write it because otherwise, how you will write this? If this nomenclature 1, 1, 1 is not given, how do you write it in English? Can you write it? So what? If I do not use Miller indices of 1, 1, 1 to describe this plane, the red plane here, uh, can we write it in yes. English? Ki ye kaun sa plane hai? Ye to bada mushkil hai likhna idhar. Ki ye na front face hai na ya top face hai. Aisa kuch nahi dikh raha. Yes. Yes sir. So that is the basic reason why we go through the <coughs> why we why we go for the Miller indices of planes. Okay. Uh, switch off your microphone please. Let's come to the next problem. We we'll take somebody else help here. Harjinder Singh. Harjinder Singh. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. help me out in this uh, problem. So, what you see yes, is sir. that we have the yes. second problem now for assigning Miller indices. So, this is the plane for which I want to assign the Miller indices. Can you see the highlighted one, the blue one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, can you help me in this? Yes. So, this blue plane, this one, 
So the first step is the origin has been located. I have done that already. It is not passing through the plane. Wo ho gaya aapka. The coordinate system has been chosen as plus y plus x plus z and accordingly you will have minus z, you will have minus x and you will have minus y also. See, that is done. Next step kya tha? You have to find the intercepts of this plane on the x, y and z axis. Yehi hai? Yes, can you hear me? आवाज हमारा आ नहीं रहा अभी धीरे धीरे तुम बोल रहे हो थोड़ा जोर से बोलो यस सर ओके तो फिर अब नेक्स्ट स्टेप में इंटरसेप्ट क्या है व्हाट इज द इंटरसेप्ट ऑफ दिस ब्लू प्लेन दैट यू सी ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ ए बी सी दिस इज ए ए वन होगा सर यस इट इज वन प्लस और माइनस प्लस वन प्लस वन इन एक्स डायरेक्शन आई कैन से दैट x इंटरसेप्ट इज प्लस वन ठीक है देर सीम्स टू बी ए कम्युनिकेशन इशू आई स्विच ऑफ योर माइक्रोफोन प्लीज आई एम नॉट एबल टू हेयर यू लास्ट समबडी एल्स निखिल भारद्वाज यस सर ओके You are following us in the class? Yes, sir. Okay. So I did. We were finding the intercepts of this blue plane on x, y, and z axis. So we said the x-intercept happens to be plus one. ये ठीक है? Yes, sir. Okay. अब y and z का बताइए क्या होगा? Sir, uh, it, y it plus one. Huh? नो 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 लुक एट इट केयरफुली ओरिजिन ये है आपका लाल जो रेड कलर का है ये ओरिजिन है ये ये ओरिजिन है दिस प्लेन इज पैरेलल टू वाई वाई एक्सिस इजंट इट यस सर ये प्लेन पाई वाई के पैरेलल नहीं है यस सर तो फिर इंटरसेप्ट का कैसे होगा इंटरसेप्ट तो होगा ही नहीं उसका कोई भी इंफिनिटी होगा यस सर इंफिनिटी और जेड जेड का जेड का भी इंफिनिटी सर Z का भी इन्फिनिटी, so it has an intercept of infinity because it is parallel to the z axis and it is parallel to the y axis also. Yes. So the intercepts are yes. found as one infinity and infinity. Now you will understand why that step was there in the case of to take the reciprocals because if I do not take the reciprocals, I have to assign infinity, which is not right. so yes sir now i have i have found that these are the intercepts these are the intercepts now the next step was the reciprocal so what will be the reciprocal of infinity what is 1 upon infinity sir zero zero that's what the base that's what i said that that is the basic reason ki wahan pe hum likhte hain ki aapko reciprocal lena hai agar reciprocal nahi lenge to yahan infinity problem create karega so you take the intercepts now As one infinity, infinity reciprocal of that is one upon one is one, one upon infinity is zero and zero. So the reciprocal is one zero zero. So this the Miller indices. What will become? One zero zero. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we are here. Na, Jana, not going to go. Let's come to yes, this. Sir. The pink one. Did you see the pink one? Did you see it? Yes, sir. Okay, let me just a minute. I will come back to you in a moment because I have to remove these annotations. Otherwise, they create a confusion here. Let me remove them, and then I come back to you again. Okay. <coughs> so you can see the orange plane. Yes, sir. प्रॉब्लम क्या है दिस इज पासिंग थ्रू द ओरिजन यस सर हमने क्या डिसाइड किया है कि ओरिजन से पास नहीं करना चाहिए ओरिजन को शिफ्ट करना पड़ेगा यस सर ओके सो वी एग्री दैट द ओरिजन हैज टू बी शिफ्टेड सो फिर क्या करेंगे ओरिजन को शिफ्ट करेंगे लेट से आई टेक द ओरिजन हेयर द सेकंड वन सो दिस ओरिजन इज नाउ रिमूव्ड एंड I go to the second origin here. You you can choose some other origin also, but I 
let us say we, we go to this that okay now this is not there we removed this this is not the origin because it is passing through the plane so i shifted the origin here so that this is the origin now okay okay yes yes sir so so which is what is this direction which i have marked with the arrow minus x minus x right right this is plus y this is this direction is from now origin is here Keep, this is zero this is the origin this is minus y and <coughs> obviously this is plus z and this is minus z okay now come to that what are the coordinates uh, what are the intercepts of this pink plane on x y and z x pe kya hai so one yes right you are correct because this is zero so this is one in terms of a this is one a so i take it as one in terms of y it intersects here minus one minus one correct minus one and z so infinite infinity because it is again parallel to the z plane so i see now the intercepts are one minus one and infinity and i take the reciprocals now it is my 1 minus 1 and 0 and the indices are then yes. written as 1 1 bar 0 so in a notation we write it as 1 the minus is written with 1 bar we use a bar sign so it is 1 1 bar 0 is it correct are you getting yes, what sir. we are doing yes sir okay so this is the way standard way of assigning miller indices Okay, now <coughs> stay with me. Uh, okay, you can leave. Uh, you can uh, mute. I, I'll ask somebody else. Because the other people are sleeping, right? They also have to sleep in the background. They find the sleep places. Rishiv Sharma. Yes, sir. Okay, are you following us? Are you following us in the class? Are you listening? Are you listening? ओके okay. नहीं सर बताओ कि फोन पे देख रहे हो कि कंप्यूटर पे देख रहे हो सर कंप्यूटर कंप्यूटर यस आई विल एडवाइज दैट इट इज बेटर टू हैव दीस थिंग्स ऑन अ पीसी और अ लैपटॉप बिकॉज़ फोन स्क्रीन इज टू स्मॉल एंड इट इट क्रिएट्स प्रॉब्लम बट एनीवे देयर कैन बी लिमिटेशंस विद विद यू पीपल बिकॉज़ दिस इज अनप्रेसिडेंटेड टाइम सो आई होप दैट वी शैल वी दिस विल एंड प्रेटी सून मे बी विद इन अ मंथ so that we can resume the regular way so is it understandable what we are doing rishiv sharma yes sir okay <clears throat> let me take you further what you see here is three planes what you see here yes, is three sir. planes One, I read, write it as let us say one, the plane number one, plane number two, and plane number three. <clears throat> okay, what is common between them? Uh, they are parallel. Is it right? Yes, sir. Plane one, two, and three, they are all parallel. Yes, sir. They are all parallel to each other. Is it right? Okay. Yes. Okay. If I take plane number two, that was our discussion in my last example. If you, अभी जो last slide पे यही plane number two ही दिखा रहे थे हम. And yes, we sir. found the Miller indices of this plane also. If you recall that, we found that. If you see, so we said that this blue yes, plane sir. has indices of one zero zero. यही बताया हमने. Okay. Yes. So this now come come to this. So this plane number two has indices. One, zero, and zero, right? Yes. Is it correct? Okay. Then, then what about plane number one and three? What about indices of this one and three? Are they also same? So the x intercept changes, but x x intercept it has one was our so understanding that i i said that i will take the the origin here so somebody can say that why don't you take the origin here why don't you take the origin here for the second case but otherwise they are 
the same plane same means yes. they are parallel to each other as such and they will have the same indices so one thing is to be very clearly understood that a miller index we can call it as miller index of 1 0 it specifies only the orientation in the space and not in the position because if it is specifying position also then 1 2 and 3 must have different indices which is not correct 1 2 and 3 have same plane means they only specify the <coughs> orientation and not the positions and the parallel planes will have the same indices ye theek hai yes sir okay uh, switch off the microphone suchita yadav suchita yadav suchita yadav yes sir okay are you getting what we are doing here yes sir okay Uh, so we see here plane one, two, and three. We say all of them have the same indices of one zero zero, one zero zero, and one zero zero. Okay, is it gettable? You are getting that? Yes, sir. Okay. Now next uh, <coughs> next thing is the indices here one zero zero are written with the letters H, K, and L. so hkl l is just the indices in x y and uh, you can say in the in, they, they are specifying through this the x y and z direction so they are written as hk and l index just like we did u v and w for the directions we use hk and l for the indices of the planes so indices of the planes are written here as hk and l what i am writing here is hkl equal to h bar k bar l bar i can give you an example of this let us say i want to write here that okay this is 1 1 1, 1 is actually nothing but equal to 1 bar 1 bar 1 bar we will prove it later on that why it is true but right now it is just a statement that <coughs> they are the same i will take you forward to one more example and then we we go to this and accordingly i can since also write here that 100 is nothing but 1 bar 00 that is also correct 